sight in the game to see the boxing boys. My weight back, because my body is so used to being at that weight. Ah. Other people, their bodies are used to being that. They, they put on 10, 10, 12 pounds. Their bodies used to being on that. Ah. Right. 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 Now, now, Dre, obviously with the rumors of the Bradley fight, have you had a time, a chance to see the Vargas Bradley fight? Uh, well, I watched that fight about eight, nine times, just from perspective, um, and I, I know what, I know what it's going to take for Saddam to be ready to be victorious in the bout. Um, Bradley's a tough, tough, tough operator. I've known Bradley since he was boxing in the J.O. So it's not like I don't know who he is. I know of him. I know what to expect from him. I know he's a dedicated, hard-working athlete. He brings 100% to every fight that he's in. So we have to be prepared for that. We have to be prepared for his consistency, his tenacity, his ability to withstand and to make sure that Saddam is that warrior so he can represent and he can be victorious at the bottom. What did you think of that last, I guess, negative 10 seconds that we didn't get to see because the ref stepped in and stopped it beforehand? Vargas thought that he won. Did you think that uh, Bradley lost that fight? Was that enough to be a stoppage on the ref's part? No. Or did you understand it was just a mistake on the ref's part? Well, we know it was a mistake on the ref's part, and me, myself, I don't think that Bradley was going to get stopped about anyway. I mean, he was shook up, and, and during those last few seconds, I know he would have been smart enough to at least tie up Vargas so that he wouldn't get hit with anything big at that point. But I think he had recovered, and he was going to finish the fight, without a doubt. Uh, and he did exhibit those things in the Ruslan fight where he took a knee. He's smart and smart enough fighter to take a knee when in danger. Exactly. Uh, Bradley has been doing it a long time. He understands the rules, the international rules. Everyone will tell you if you're in any type of trouble, if your glove is untied, take a knee so the referee can stop the action. And I can guarantee you he would have done that. There was no way that Vargas was going to finish Bradley off in that fight. If Ruslan couldn't do it, Vargas definitely wasn't going to. <laughs> now, <clears throat> do you think that he might have took the fight lightly because Vargas was just a young, up-and-coming fighter that really didn't have a big name on his resume? And, you know, this is Timothy Bradley. He's fought with the best in the world, two pound-for-pound -pound guys on his resume. He couldn't get up for the fight? Or did we see the best Bradley that you think we could have saw that night? No, I think Bradley was definitely prepared for the fight, as we did see. 12 rounds, he got careless in, in the last moments of the bout, and that's the only reason why he was struck with the shot and shook up a bit. But nonetheless, during the, during the entire bout, it was Vincent Bradley. He was sticking, moving, he was applying pressure, he was very busy with his punches. I mean, that's Bradley. But he got careless in the end for a quick second. And as we know, as we do know, a fight is never over until that last bell is rung. So with that being said, that one small mistake cost him, but it did not cost him the fight. So no question in your mind if the fight were to get made with your fighter, Saddam Ali and Timothy Bradley, that, that he wouldn't be 100%. You, I mean, because I, I'm just trying to allude to maybe he takes guys that don't have the big name value of a Mayweather and Pacquiao uh, differently. Maybe he doesn't get up for those fights. I mean, that's what some of the rumors were, that that, that performance looked that way because that could have been a possibility. Well, I don't think so. Bradley appeared to be in peak physical condition. To be in peak physical condition means that you want enough to be ready to fight whoever's coming out. He always looks like he is ready to fight. I've never seen him not look ready to fight. And a lot of people may claim it to be genetics and this, that, and the other thing. But let me tell you something. I wish God would have gave me those genetics so that my body looked like that because if he's not working, he's got a gift from God.